Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Splat the Cat Gets a Job by Laura Driscoll and illustrated by Robert Ebers. This book was published by HarperCollins in 2018. Ta-da! said Splat as he came down the stairs. He had on his newspaper cat hat and carried his newspaper cat bag. Splat was the new news cat. It was Splat's first real job. At bedtime, Splat was so excited he could hardly sleep. He couldn't wait to get started. Remember, Splat's mom said, you need to deliver all the papers before school. It's your job to get yourself up and out of bed. So Splat set his alarm clock to go off extra early. It went off at 6 a.m. Splat hit the snooze button. It went off again at 6.10. Seymour hit the snooze button. Splat snoozed until... Seven o'clock, he cried. Splat threw on clothes and raced down the stairs. He found the newspapers on his front steps. He stuffed them into his news cat bag. Splat dragged the papers from house to house. It was a lot of work. Finally, Splat came to the last two houses. But his bag was empty. He was short two papers. Sorry, Mr. Doodad, Splat said to his neighbor. Sorry, Mrs. Cranky Ankle. To make matters worse, Splat was late to school. Sorry, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple, he said. What happened to you? Kitten whispered. At recess, Splat told her about his new job. I'm a terrible news cat, he said. First, I overslept. Then I lost two papers. You just need a new alarm, Kitten said. She loved to tinker. After school, Splat and Kitten got to work. Splat dumped out his toy chest. Hmm, said Kitten. Splat and Kitten made a plan. They tested, made some changes, and tested again. In the morning, Splat's alarm went off. He reached out to hit snooze. The alarm hit back. Splat was awake. Splat packed up the newspapers. Oof, the bag was so heavy. Splat was worried. What if he lost papers again? So Splat tried carrying them a different way. He rode from house to house, tossing the papers. A few landed just right. Most of them did not. Sorry, Mr. Doodad, Splat said. Sorry, Mrs. Cranky Ankle. Splat told Kitten his new problem. I'll never be able to toss papers like the pros do, he moaned. You just need a slingshot, Kitten told Splat. They made a plan. Splat and Kitten tested, made some changes, and tested again. The next morning, Splat's alarm went off. He reached for the snooze button, but stopped just in time. Splat packed up the papers, rolling them just so. Then Splat wobbled from house to house, writing while aiming the slingshot was tricky. Sorry, Mr. Doodad, said Splat. Whoa! Sorry again, Mr. Doodad, said Splat. Here's your paper. I can't do this, Splat told Kitten. You just need more hands, she said. Splat looked at her. Kitten, cried Splat. That's it. Splat made some changes to the plan. We could be a newscat team, he said. 
The next morning, they did just that. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.